What's good to YouTube and Twitch? We're live streaming to both with an interesting conversation here. It could have been many different videos, but chat's best idea forward was, what are some cards you would love to see turned into entire archetypes? Because a while ago, we saw Thunder Dragon reimagined by Konami, and all they had were two cards, a fusion and a card that helped you get the fusion summoning early into this entire archetype that was comprehensive, that became meta, that had boss monsters so what are some cards from the past that i would love to see turned into entire archetypes and the first one that did kind of come to mind among everything uh from the original set would be mystical elf along with dark elf these two i i remember dark elf beat down back in the day as the a thousand worth it and then an lob people even choosing this because oh i like this card more than giant soldier or stone i'm not going to be attacking with him much uh just people and how they felt originally to old school Yu-Gi-Oh! and having Yugi's cards come forward. I know Dual Masters gets a ton of love and people are like, where's the GX love? 5D's love? That kind of stuff. I would still like to see Mystical Elf turn into this entire archetype with her chance, which kind of got put into a card. She gained life points in this trap card, but into a comprehensive modern day spellcaster badass archetype. That would be cool. Now, speaking of another girl power archetype to lead us off, Denko Seka is one of my favorite cards of all time. Has been featured in multiple arts and even on one that's on the forbidden and limited list right now but i would love to see this kind of effect that does shut down things yes it's floodgate ish but it's fair because it can't be special summoned so you've got a normal summon this to shut off the back row i'd love to see other cards like this and a modern day stun deck that forces people to slow down and actually play Yu-Gi-Oh back and forth like the good old days and this kind of in a sense does the opposite within meta decks and i'm sure a piece might generically get ended up using for its floodgate like if you had a dark ruler and the more shut off one yeah i can imagine normal summon this haha <laughs> but this is for both players so i'd like to continue to see those cards affect both players and so like if it's stopping you it's also stopping them from doing something so there's a trade-off for its great power now summoner monk is an ancient enabler that i really respect rescue cat format anybody and there's a monk archetype from way back it's not a part of that archetype but this card has like things that apply today it can't be tributed which ends up mattering off of other cards and then like turns itself to defense and enables from the deck one of the ultimate effects i'd kind of like to see an entire like i don't know temple-esque field spell and then have other cards come alongside and, and to this kind of modern day enabler to bring him back and actually be played because you could still play him today in rank four and other decks eater of millions is a more modern day card i know boomer john has gone over a lot of old cards Eater of Millions is an awesome card, and I think it would be great to see an evolution of different kind of Eater of Billions, Eater, you know, that kind of stuff. There is a trap card coming, but to turn it into multiple cards that do this, summon this way, and, and get these effects, like, this is great non-targeting removal. It's a solid standalone card, but maybe something that ends up searching this and makes it relevant again, because, let's face it, banishing cards for Grin Maju, is that supposed? to be your fate while taking out some of his problems no that wasn't your fate you're a cool piece of Yu-Gi-Oh history and back and forth gameplay and I'd love to see that evolve now going anciently to a coin flip effect Sasuke Samurai number four is my favorite card from old Yu-Gi-Oh for fun I know Jinzo is my favorite old effect monster summon school is my favorite vanilla but this I really like the Sasuke Samurais, especially number four. I would be flipping that coin at locals. Yeah, I was that kid. But the thing about this guy is when you're flipping that coin, the card hasn't flipped face up yet. And there's some back and forth and goat format and some wacky duels that can be had. And then you look at other cards like Sasuke Samurai himself. If this attacks a face down defense position monster, destroy it face down. Ah, a little bit of evolution, the early thoughts. And there was also a three that let your opponent draw to seven. And a number two where you can pay 800 life points until the end phase. Spell and trap cards can't be activated. So you have these effects of trying to stop your opponent from playing very early in Yu-Gi-Oh. You can't, you can't 
use your spell and traps. You can't flip your cards. I'd like to see the Sasuke Samurais get reimagined and brought into some modern era. Speaking of goat format and back and forth dueling, Injection Fairy Lily is something you might remember playing with if you played old Yu-Gi-Oh! And having an entire archetype base off of maybe paying life points to do things so you can only go so far, but having it be very impactful, that would be kind of cool to see an entire archetype base off of it. And she's a nurse, yet you're paying the life points. Ah, is it a commentary on the medical industry? But no, seriously, I'd like to see an entire archetype based off of paying life points to do things relative to modern Yu-Gi-Oh! and go in. Next up is an old meme, and that's Hungry Burger. And I've heard people talk about old rituals like Fortress Whale, one of my personal favorites, and others into being whole archetypes. I think a whole entire fast food set would be hilarious as TCG exclusives. All you got for Hungry Burger right now is this weird warrior burger himself and hamburger recipe. It goes along with the old memes like Shape Snatch, and for me, this would be my meme pick of the list. I think it would be awesome to see, uh, you know, have some, like, fry warriors and then have also, like, a soda, like, a whole fast food set. Yeah, Hungry Burger OTK, yep. Uh, but no, seriously, I'd love to see that evolve. And one thing that you might have learned from Sky Striker format, if you were forced to play terrible decks by your chat, Despite all that text on Hungry Burger, you can't widow anchor Hungry Burger. Next up, I would love to sh see the Shield Gardeners. You see Mid Shield and Big Shield here. There's already two, and then you have Total Defense Shogun, which almost looks similar in art and maybe concept of getting to attack and defense. I would love to see them actually evolve this into a real archetype where people could play with it. A and this card was relevant. Uh, when a spell card is activated that targets this face down uh, card, you change this card to face up defense, and if you do negate the activation. So this actually like would play with cross out in the metagame but then it would get flipped to attack and get hit with an injection fairy lily all these boomer-esque cards but this is another one of yugi's cards i'd love to actually see like a defense there's defense otk decks that are funny from back in the day but maybe something that allows you to build up defense and then attack with it i know super heavy samurais can do that somewhat and we've seen other retrains of effects and maybe something where like he ends up leveling up shield like having the millennium shield for big shield gardena and cooler lore there built in so big shield gardena i'd love to see some attack defense cards in that gimmick actually get good moki moki does have a quote-unquote archetype you have moki moki you have moki moki smackdown and then you have well, his fusion. That's about it for that. So I would love to see this actually get way more support. I mean, Thunder Dragon had two cards. This has three cards. Huge fan favorite. And while it is a meme, I I'd like to see some enabling. I'd like to see some like extra Moki Moki cards. I, I know that there's other art featuring him and stuff, but it would be cool to see this become something because it's so long, st like just ingrained into the community for so long. And this is all we got come on man i'd love to see a mad scientist archetype well magical scientist himself is banned you also have a uh, kozaki you have another mad scientist running around it would be cool to see this entire thing with so many arts and so much lore for for these two to maybe become kind of this developed archetype in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. everybody knows magical scientists that played the ancient game one of the first problem ftks in the game maybe it's not the greatest of memories but it would be cool to see a mad scientist archetype. And then finally here on the list, so many people have been commenting on this one. Gate Guardian as a competent archetype. Make a retrain. Make new pieces. This is the original fusion without a fusion. You have to special summon this by tributing Suogen, Kazogen, and Sangha of the Thunder. You have to get all three of those on the field and then summon this. It's one of the worst boss monsters, but it looks so cool in the show while they're having to have them run through Labyrinth Wall and basically cheat to get to summon it in Duelist Kingdom without tributes even. It's an absurd attack, 3750 for old Yu-Gi-Oh! And you get this card out by tributing basically three better cards. But I would love to see a retrain that makes it possible, that goes hard, and it would be awesome to see that come back. But thank you guys so much for watching chat what are some of the cards you would love to see become archetypes ruggles is gonna love this video ruggles is like a creative mind he's a painter so i'm sure he constantly thinks of how to evolve and do things with Yu-Gi-Oh and change i'm not the biggest create a card guy but i am somebody that loves Yu-Gi-Oh long term and loves seeing lore rehash and i don't mind konami dipping into that nostalgia well as long as they do it well 
Sanga. Yeah, I thought I said Sanga of the Thunder. My bad. But yeah, there's also Sangan. That would be a cool archetype besides just its fusion. There's so many cards to think about. Labyrinth Wall. That that would be cool. Also talking about the Gate Guardian duel by the wall. By the way. <laughs> Celtic Guardian. Yeah, Celtic Guardian got a new uh, retrain again, but it didn't go very far. Danko Seka, I started the video off with. Feral Imp's a good one. A lot of Duel Masters people in here too, but Tour Guide, that would be another mod modern card that would be cool she keeps getting different like you have tour bus you have beat cop lord of the world but they're not really you know expanding that enabler into an archetype i'd love to see some stuff with that though thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy the conversation and let me know what card or cards you'd like to see into a full-blown archetype not just a update support to x deck like volcanics like pain has been waiting for for almost three years but what you would like to be expanded into an archetype like volcanics actually has